Hi, good evening. How are you? How are you? Good and you? Good, good. My work. <laughs> As you are at work right now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> good. And tell me, how was Father's Day for some of you? Uh, nice. <laughs> I go to, uh, to take a breakfast with my family. Enjoy and the night go to the work. <laughs> really, you had to work yesterday. Yes, from uh, from Wednesday. Okay. So, yes, Wednesday, Thursday, and today and tomorrow <laughs> and the Sunday at night. <laughs> I see. Okay, good. So we are going to begin right now with our class. Um, I know that some of you were not able to be here on Wednesday. So we are going to start by making a review. Um, let's see. Can you tell me what you remember about yes, well, last class? Do you remember? Me no picture. I don't I don't I don't connect to that. I have a lot of work. <laughs> okay. So let me see. Probably Miguel can tell us a little bit about the things that we studied. Miguel, what do you remember about our class? Excuse me, teacher. What do you remember about our last class? What did we study? Uh, mm, me pregunta que qué vimos en la clase anterior. Así es. Eh, siento mucho decirle que me quedé dormido, teacher. Okay. Yo creo que lo notó, ¿verdad? No, uh, probably till the end, hasta el final, nos dimos cuenta. Sí, que no había abandonado. Sí, sí, estaba, no sé en qué momento, la verdad que estaba bien rendido. <laughs> lo siento. Okay. Uh, let's see, how about you, Juan Carlos? Um, accepting or refusing respect. Okay, good. That is something that we studied. We were talking about how to request something to someone. And also we talked about how to accept or how to refuse a request. So I'm going to start sharing screen. Give me a few seconds. And if you remember the thing that we were talking about, or the auxiliary, I better said that we were talking, was about can and could, okay? If you remember, we were talking about can and could. We said that can, we can use it to ask for or give permission, and also we can use it when we request something, okay? Something that we also mentioned is that the difference between can and could, when we are using both, is that can, it is used for informal requests, and could is used for polite and formal requests, okay? That's something that we mentioned. We have can for informal requests and could for formal requests, okay? So you can see here we have the examples. Can you write these reports, please? Can you help me deliver these letters today, please? And then we have, could, could you write these reports, please? Could you deliver these letters today, please? So basically, here we are asking, we are making a request, but we have formal and informal. I don't know if there is a question about this. Uh, 
El patito Juan. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know. Entonces, prácticamente, teacher, el, el TEM y el Q es, es para, para solicitar algo, para pedir sí. permiso, pero sí. TEM es más informal, cuando sí. se tiene más confianza con la persona y todo eso, y el Q más, eh, más formal. That is right. Ok, perfect. Yes, Thank you. that is correct. So that's something that we were talking about last class. Que fue algo de lo que estuvimos hablando, ¿verdad? Que sí, el can es más informal y el could es más formal. Ok. Perfecto, gracias. You're welcome. Um, I remember that as well we worked on a, well, on some short conversations. Trabajamos en unas conversaciones cortas y estuvimos trabajando en la última actividad. Let me see how many of you finish that activity. Okay, so I'll share screen right now. Okay, so that was the last thing that we were doing on Wednesday. You were going to write five requests that your boss could ask you for next week. I remember that some of you finished and some others couldn't. And I need to know what are those requests that you have for next week? Or what do you think your boss can ask you to do next week? Let's see, Juan Carlos. Could you please send, send me the solid report? Five. Yeah, continue okay. with two more, please. Okay. Can you stay later this day? And could you call the others to a meeting? Okay, good. Juan Carlos, choose another person, please. Okay, teacher, give me a second. Sure. Giovanni Alexander. Okay, Giovanni. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, <coughs> yeah. Can can you can you call partner? Do you have another example? Uh, uh, with can or, or could? Let's try to use could. Could. Uh, could. could. Could you refresh the budget? Okay, thank you, Giovanni. So let's see, Reynaldo, how about okay. you? Uh, Anna, could you send report this month? Could you buy for the defense? Could you supervise the project? project? Could you train new SARS people, SARS oh. people? Okay. Thank you, Reynaldo. Excellent. How about you, Silvia? Yeah. Can you meet in with the resource human department? Again, sorry. Can you read it one more time? Silvia? 
you meeting with the resource human department? Okay. Call you by the new economic magazine? And can you call the general account? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Silvia. Um, Can you please write less the last week? Okay. Okay, thank you. And out. Okay, thank you, Silvia. So you could see that there we have some examples where we can request for something. And we are using can, and at the same time, we are using could. Um, I don't know if there is a question that you may have about this topic or if everything is clear for you. No, no questions? No question, teacher. Okay. So if there are no questions, give me just a few seconds. I'll check the attendance right now. Just let me, okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to check the attendance. Let me see, Alba Nelly Reyes. Ana Delmi Herrera. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Consuelo del Carmen Rivera. Daniel Antonio Luna. Thank you. Daniel Enrique Orellana. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander. Present. Thank you. Isabel Beatriz Joya. Juan Carlos Peña. Present. Juan Osmel Vizcarra. Present, teacher. Thank you. Linda Yvette Márquez. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Renata Romero. Reinaldo Castro. Present, teacher. Thank you. Senaida América. Silvia Suleima. Present, teacher. Thank you. Suleima Verónica. Xiomara del Carmen. Daniel Alexandra. Jenny Carolina. Okay, thank you. So let's continue. So we just made a review about how to ask for requests or how to make requests in a formal or informal form. And I also remember that we mentioned or that we explained some examples that we have here. So let me share, go back and share screen with you. Okay. So I remember that this is something that we were discussing the first time. So you can see that here we have these examples of requests. Can you give that book? Could you please close the door? Could you please send a report? Could I ask you to take me home? Can you tell me what happened? So you can see that there we have both formal and informal requests. So what are we going to do? Just remember, before I go to the next activity, just remember that the way how we are going to be making this request is the following. We have first of all the auxiliary can or could, then we're going to have the subject, the verb, plus a complement, okay? So that's the way that we are going to be making requests, okay? So what we are going to do right now is the following. I need you to think at least in two requests, okay? Formal or informal that you can ask 
a friend, a co-worker, or any person you want, okay? So you're going to write two requests, one formal and one informal, okay? And then we are going to share them with the class. So I'll give you time, I'll give you three minutes, okay? Necesito teacher, que me hagan, uh, yes? Una pregunta, teacher. Uh, eh, con el can y con el call eh, el verbo siempre lo vamos a poner en su forma normal Sí, eso es algo que habíamos mencionado que una de las peculiaridades ¿verdad? de este o de esos auxiliares es que el can y el could es el mismo para todos los pronombres aquí no es si es tercera persona o si es singular o plural es el mismo, ¿verdad? Y aparte de ello, el verbo siempre va a ir en su forma normal. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok. So, let's start writing your examples. I need two. One formal and one informal. Ok. Teacher, buenas noches. La indicación que dio es que vamos a hacer oraciones con el Ken y Ken. Ken. Yes, that is correct. We are going to write two requests, one using Ken and another one using could. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So let's see, did you finish for the ones that were here before? Yes. Okay. So let's see. You're going to choose one. Okay. So you're going to read one of your examples, and the rest will tell us if it is formal or informal. Okay. So we're going to begin with Daniel Luna. He's the first one I have on my screen. Okay, um, my example is, can you send me by email the report? Okay, so is it formal or informal? It's... Okay, don't say it, Daniel. I need the other, okay. your other classmates to tell me. Okay. Okay, so let's see, Juan, Juan Osme, what do you think? Is it formal or informal? Sorry, could you repeat me, please, Daniel? Okay, can you send me by email the report? It's an informal. Okay, good. Juan, now is your turn. Tell us one of your requests, please. Uh, teacher, could you help me to speak English very well? Okay, excellent, of course. So tell us, Zenaida, is it formal or informal? Good evening, uh, is formal. Okay, excellent, Zenaida. So now it's your turn, Zenaida. Tell us one of your examples. Zenaida, can you make the schedule? Okay, good. Suleima, is it formal or informal? 
Repeat, Senaida, please. It's a pleasure. Senaida, can you make the schedule? Informal. Okay, perfect. Leima, tell us one of yours, please. Can you get this book? Okay, so Miguel, tell us, is it formal or informal? Repeat, please, teach. Can you give, no, give this book? It's informal. Okay, yes, perfect. So Thank now you. you, Miguel. Uh, can you advertise cell phone online, please? Okay, good, Miguel. Let me see, Daniel. Daniel Enrique, is it formal or informal? Is it informal? Okay, perfect. Daniel, now you tell us one of your examples. <laughs> Call to tell me what time is now. Okay, Claudia. Perdón, Tisha. So you need to tell us if the request that Daniel told us is formal or informal. Please mm. repeat que voy entrando. Disculpe que voy entrando. No la escuché. Okay. okay. Could you tell me what time is now? Formal. Could you tell me? Formal. Okay, good, Claudia. Uh, let's see. The next one is going to be Reinaldo. Reinaldo, read one of yours, please. Can you tell me where are you? Okay, Silvia. Yes. Um... Informal. Excellent. Sylvia, now you tell us one of your examples. Could you please take a book? Xiomara? Um, call, I, please call the, the bank. I'm sorry, Xiomara, you just need to tell us if the request that Silvia made is formal or informal. So, Silvia, can you say it one more time, please? Could you please take a book? Xiomara, is it formal or informal? Formal, call, 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 please call the bank. Okay, good. Thank you, Xiomara. And the last one I think is going to be Juan Carlos. Dorothy, I don't listen very well. Could you repeat? Please. I don't, I don't listen. Yeah, she said something like, could you go to the bank, please? Could you, it's formal. Okay. It's formal, could you, it's formal. Okay, excellent. So you can see that there we've been practicing something that we studied before, the uses of can and could when making requests. Okay, I don't know if there is a question that you may have or if everything is clear by now. For me, is anything clear? Okay, good. So everything is clear. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's continue. If you remember last class, we worked on an exercise using only could, right? Could for request. So now we are going to continue working on that. So I'll share screen. 
but this is something that we are going to be doing here, okay? We're not going to go to breakup rooms and I need you to change the information that we have, okay? So we're not going to be using the same information that you shared on Wednesday, but we are going to make different examples. So if you remember, we had these, I'm going to Starbucks. Could you please get me a cup of coffee? We're not going to be using could, we are going to use can, okay? So can you please, or can you get me a cup of coffee? Or can you get me a cup of coffee and some bread, please? So we are going to be changing. Then you can see we have, I'm going to the library. Can you please give this book back? Can you please give this book back? So you can see we are changing the auxiliary. On the last class we used could, but now we are going to use can, okay? So I'm going to have right now, let me see, Daniel and Juan Carlos. Daniel Luna and Juan Carlos with number two. I'm going to the library. Can I, can I buy uh, this book? Okay, can I buy this book? Good. Juan Carlos. I'm going to, I'm going to our English class. Can you, can you say or English class teacher that I don't go, I don't go in? I'm not going. I am not going. Okay, good. Uh, hold on, so I'm going to write it here. The way I it. You said, mm -hmm. can you tell the teacher I'm not going, I'm not going today. Okay, good. Juan Carlos, can you choose another person, please? Okay, teacher. And... Silvia. Okay, Silvia, let's see the next one. Thank you, Juan Carlos. You're welcome. La cuatro, ¿verdad? Yes, we are on number four. Could you please get me a cookie? No, you're going to read the complete, the full. Okay. I am going to the kitchen. Could you please get me a cookies? Can you please? Or could you please? Get me a cookies. Uh -huh. Could you please get, get me a cookies? Get me some. A cookies? I see. Uh -huh. Mm, ok, vaya, primero, tengo este determinante que significa uno. Ese solamente lo puedo utilizar en lo que es el singular, no lo puedo usar con plural. Ok, entonces como usted le había puesto, get me some cookies. Ok, good. Some cookies. Thank you. Pero como estamos usando ahorita lo que es el can, me quedaría. Can you. Así igual. Can you please get me some cookies? Ok, good. Thank you, Silvia. Can you choose another person, please? Um, Juan Vizcarra. Ok, Juan, number five.
I'm going to London. Can you come with me, please? Okay, excellent. Can you come with me, please? Okay, good. Um, Juan, can you choose another person, please? Juan? Ok, teacher, vamos a ver el sortudo, vamos a elegir. Ok. Eh, sí, sí, sí. A doña Zula Melgar. Whom, sorry? Zuleima Melgar. Ah, ok, Zuleima, number six. Ok. Can you buy tomato for soap? soap? Can you buy Tomatoes. Tomatoes. For soup. Soup. For the soup? Yes. Okay. Soup. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to the vegetable market. Can you buy tomatoes for the soup? Okay, good. Suleyma, another person, please. Ah, okay. Quiero ver que me sale. Reinaldo Castro. Okay, Reinaldo, number seven. I am going to McDonald's. Can you can you buy egg muffin? Can you buy no. egg muffin? Muffin. Okay. Mama muffin. Can you buy a McMuffin? Okay, perfect. Reinaldo, another person, please. Uh, Daniel Antonio. Okay. Um, I think that he already participated, right? Ya participó Daniel, si no me equivoco. Yeah. Sí. Um... Linda. Okay, Linda, we are on number eight. I'm going to the post office. I'm going to the post office. Can you send a letter for me, please? Okay, perfect. Linda, another person, please. Linda, another person? Claudia Guadalupe. Okay, Claudia. Okay, I going to a pet shop. Uh, can you buy my dog food? Oh, I'm sorry, you said, can you buy? you buy my dog food? Ooh. Okay, good. And Claudia, choose another person, please. Um, okay. Anna? Okay. <laughs> can, can you, um, can you, can you send? You bring me my my blues, my blouse, blues, my my blouse. Okay, so we have the last one that says, "I'm going home." Okay, I'm going home. Can you send for bring okay. me my blouse? What do you mean? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir? Eh, se supone que si va a la, a la casa, que, el, que cuando vaya a la casa me traiga una blusa. Ah, ok. So, can you bring me? Can you bring me? 
my blouse. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Gracias. You're welcome. So I'll stop sharing screen right now. So is this clear for you or do you have questions? Está claro o tienen preguntas? It's clear, teacher. Okay. Okay, good. So if there are no problems or questions about these auxiliaries or what we've been talking about, we are going to move and we are going to finish working basically on the student's book. There is a reading that we haven't done yet, so we are going to do it right now. And we are going to go to page 44. So let me share screen right now. And I'm going to be having some of you reading. Okay. So if you remember this unit is basically about tech support. That's something that we were talking about. We studied the uses of would like and would like to. Now we were discussing about can and could for making requests. And we're going back basically to tech support. Okay, so we have this reading and the instruction says read about printer quality and answer the questions below. Um, let me see, someone that hasn't participated. Carlos. Carlos, can you start reading please? Carlo, I'm sorry, but we did not hear you. Sorry, what happened? Carlos. Okay, so let me see who hasn't participated. Okay, thank you, Sanaida. You should only read. Yes, only read. And you're going to read okay. till here. Okay, hasta acá va a leer. So let's begin. Okay. Color, color, color is important for users who, who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to prime only in backend, back right? Black and white, black and white. Black and right. And white, thank you, Sanaida. Let's see, we're going to have, let me check. Um, Hello. Hi, Carlos. Okay. Hoy sí, ya se le escucha. Okay, sorry. So continue, please. This is the color. Color okay. printers. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges. One color and one black ink that need to be replaced after the certain number of age user who don't have a specific need for color and will print a lot of page will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Uh, let me see, we're going to continue with Xiomara. Uh, 
Um, resolution. 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 Printer, resolution. Printing resolution. The sharpness of text and images on paper is used is usually mensual in dots per inch 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 um t dp um Months in a inexpensive printer to pro, provide sufficient resolution for provide sufficient resolution for most purpose purposes purposes at a um, the uh, uh, hundred. What do you say, Tatiana? DP six hundred. Six hundred. Okay, six hundred DPI. Six hundred DPI. Okay. Thank Teacher, you. I have a question. Tell me. What does mean DPI? It says here that is dots per inch. Son los puntos por pulgada. Dots per inch. We have it here. Dots per inch. DPI. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's continue, Norma. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slow, slow, slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Okay, thank you. Uh, then we have the last one. Let me see who hasn't participated. Um, or do I have a volunteer? Okay, thank you, Daniel. Okay, memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded to the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful. Be faster. When printing on page, when, when large image or table with lines around them, which the printer sees as a larger image. Okay, thank you. So you can see that here we have this information about the qualities, well, about the uh, printer qualities. So you can see that we're talking about color, resolution, speed, and memory. Um, before we go to the next activity, I just had feedback about pronunciation, or probably I'm going to read it for you. So we have color, color is important, okay, important for users who need to print, print pages, pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printed resolution 
the sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory, for example, one megabyte, that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Okay? So this is just for you to check on pronunciation. I don't know if you have a question about the pronunciation of a word or probably the meaning of any of them. Teacher, uh, what it means inexpensive? Inexpensive, no muy costoso. Uh, expensive, costoso. Sí, inexpensive es lo opuesto. Ok. O caro. Ok. Another question. Cheaper is barato, ¿verdad? Cheaper, más barato. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, another one. I'm sorry. Purposes. Purposes. Purposes, propósito. Purposes. Purposes. A propósitos. Okay. Yes, para diferentes propósitos. Gracias. You're welcome. Let's see, another question. No. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what we are going to do right now. So what, now that we have read that article, we are going to answer these five questions. We have number one that says, why is color, color important for some user? What does DPI stand for? Why are color printers more expensive? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? And what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? So we are going to answer those questions right now, but we are going to do it in breakup rooms, okay? Vamos a ir a los breakup rooms para responder esas preguntas. So I'll start creating, creating the groups, but is there any question? Questions? No, no question. No questions? Okay, so let's go right now. So let's begin working on it, okay? A mí eso y también agregarle el representante de Chormat en 
where color is part of the information. Cuando es parte también los colores de, de la información. De la información. Ajá, mm -hmm. Muy bien, Joa. Sí, sí, lo veo acá lo que están diciendo, está en las primeras dos líneas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y en la dos sería usually measured. Sería. Six hungry. Six hundred DPI. Six hundred And then it is time for... La tres es small expenses printers much faster. ¿Cómo? En la tres for me is uh, El único que encuentro la respuesta aquí es 600 DPI. ¿Qué significan los puntos? Digo? Sur. At 600, at 6, ¿Mm? Y no encuentro nada más. 600. Uh -huh. Why are color print more expensive? Es es correcto, God. ¿verdad? Per inch. Dots. Per inch. Number three. Why are color printers more expensive? Dito. Ese está en el primer párrafo también, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En la línea tres. Color printers are more expensive to operate than because. Ay, la respuesta sería because, because they used to think they to operate with. Think, no, sería. No, cartridge. Why, uh -huh, why are color printers more expensive? Because they used to ink cartridge. One color in, in black ink. Hasta ahí sería. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Because okay. you. Because they. They use. Um, for. Uh -huh. 
Ajá, ¿Qué significa eh, DPI? Entonces ah. sería píxeles por pulgada. Uh -huh. Sería dot per inch. Por eso es in dot per inch. Pero si lo traducís dot literal. Per inch. Per... Ah, no hablamos de punto porque estamos hablando de lo digital. De hecho, estamos sería... en la dos. Este. Uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, la pregunta es, nos está preguntando qué significa de... Yo sería ir y... Ajá, sería in dot per inch, que en español sería píxeles por pulgada, ¿verdad? Ok, good, yes. Because it asks, what does it stand for? O sea, quiere saber, o se necesita saber el, lo que quiere decir cada una de esas iniciales. Ah, ok. Ajá. Excelente. Ok, picha, ya la había. Ok. Estamos Good. algo dormidas. <risa> es viernes. Pasaba en la palabra, sí. Ah, I understand. Entiendo, es viernes, ya casi, ya casi. Ok, picha. Esta dónde está? ¿Cómo? ¿Esa dónde está? En ¿O esa es la que le vamos a dejar? En color. Ajá. Porque, por ejemplo, en el principio dice color is important for uses. We need to print page for presentation or maths and other page where color is part of the information. Entonces, why are color printers more expensive? Because... Because... Because, ¿cómo se dice? Because use. Ajá, use. Use for uh, best quality printing. Ok. ¿Cómo quedaría? Because use is for better quality print. Así sería. No sé, teacher, así es. <laughs> okay, we are on question number three. 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 Okay, so it says, why are color printers more expensive? ¿Por qué las impresoras de color son más caras? Because use is for quality printing. Okay. And in which paragraph or in which part do you have that information? Number three. Number three? Yes. Okay, me, let me share this with you right now. I'm here. Okay, so if you read here, it says color. Okay, here on the third line, color printers are more expensive to operate since, es the since, quiere decir porque, since ah, okay. they use two ink cartridges, okay? Since they use two ink cartridges. There you have the, the, the answer. One color and one black ink. Okay, and as it says, that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Okay. Entonces la respuesta sería one color. Because they use to ink cartridge. Okay, there you go. Because they use two ink cartridge. Yo lo dejé larga, así como la nuestra because use is for quality printing and they use two ink cartridge. Es entonces you is They use 
take use to ink card. The answer is because they use to ink card. Yes. Yes. Okay, number four. What okay. is something important for someone who print a lot? Donde está el paréntesis. One megabyte. Ajá, one megabyte. Que puede, le podemos poner también lo siguiente. That can be expanded by the user. Puede ser expandido. Okay, did you finish? Mm, yes, teacher. Okay. Good. So give me just a few seconds. I need to check one more group and then we'll be back in the main session, okay? Okay. 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 <clears throat> Hi, did you finish? No falta, teacher. How many questions are you missing? Three questions. Three questions. Three. So you're missing three questions? Uh, two number uh, four and number five. Ah, number four and five. Okay, so I'll give you more time. Or do you have questions? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? Teacher. Tell me. Yes, amount. Cantidad. Cantidad, perfecto, gracias. You're welcome. What is this? Who printed a lot of pictures? It's a quien imprime mucho, verdad? Where, in which part of the paragraph are you? In the part of the lecture. Number four. Aha. Uh -huh. En la pregunta número número cuatro. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? ¿Qué es algo importante para alguien que imprime mucho? Ah. Ah, pues sí. To speed for the printer, la velocidad de la persona. Excellent. Ah, pues, 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 pues finish ya. <laughs> ah, bye. Ah, pues vamos a la sesión principal. Okay, hi. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to check attendance right now before we move to the exercise. Uh, let me see. Albanelli Reyes. Anadelmi Herrera. Present. Thank you, Carlos Alberto. Present. 
Ok. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo del Carmen. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Enrique Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander. Present. Thank you. Isabel Beatriz. Juan Carlos Peña. Present. Thank you. Juan Osmel Vizcarra. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Yvette Márquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, let me see, Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Carolina Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Renata Romero. Reinaldo Castro. Senaida América. Present teacher. Thank you, Reinaldo. Thank you, Senaida. Silvia Zuleima. Present teacher. Thank you, Zuleima Verónica. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Daniel Alexandra and Jenny Carolina. Okay, good. Thank you. So now we are going to check your answers. So let me share screen right now. Let's see. Group number one. Group number one. Tell me why is color important for some users? Who were in group number one? Let me see. Uh, okay, yeah, it's, I had Giovanni, Juan Carlos, and Norma in group number one. So tell me, what is the answer? It's important because the people need to print page for presentation or maps. Okay. Uh, Okay, good. Perfect. Yeah, you can find the answer on the first part. It says that it is important for users who need to print pages for presentation or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Excellent. So let's see now group number two. On group number two, I have Claudia, Daniel, Juan Osmel, and Reinaldo. Okay. So tell me, question number two. That one says, what does DPI stand for? Uh, it's under DPI. Uh -uh. Read the question. It says, what does DPI stand for? Que significa DPI? That's uh, per range. That's per inch. Excellent. Per That's inch. what it means. You can see it here. That's per inch. DPI. Perfect. Group number three. Why are color printers more expensive? Because you to in cartridges. Cartridges. Okay. Excellent. Because cartridges. they use two ink cartridges. One black and one mm, color. Uh, Excellent. Group number four, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? Group number four. Let me see, group number four, we have Anna, Suleyma, uh, only two of you. Uh, speed for the printer. Okay, perfect. The speed for the printer. And the last question we have, what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Um, group number five, Carlos, Zenaida, and Simara. The printers come with a small amount of memory. Uh -huh, and how much is it? Um, the... 
Uh, it's going to be spent by the use by the user. Yeah, but the question says, what is the amount? ¿Cuál es la cantidad de memoria? One megabyte. Okay, perfect. One megabyte. And as Carlos says, that can be expanded by the user. Perfect. Um, tell me, do you have questions about this activity? No questions? So was everything clear? Yeah. Okay, good. So we are going to work on an exercise, on a different exercise right now. So I'm going to show you some scenarios and I need you to tell me, or I need you to think, what would you ask for or what would you do, okay? So let me share right now my screen with you. Okay, so you can see that here I have four situations. Number one says, you are out of breath. You want your roommate to pick some, some up from the bakery. You will be gone before your roommate comes home because you are going to the movies with some friends. So what would you do in that situation? Okay, so you are out of breath. In this case, we mean that ella no tiene, se les acabó el pan. Okay, so you want your roommate to pick up some from the bakery. Ustedes vienen y le dicen a su compañero que vaya a la panadería y le compre, ¿verdad? You will be gone before your roommate comes home because you are going to the movie with some friends. So what would you do in that situation or in that scenario? I tell to my roommate, can you buy for me bread, please? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, we are giving some examples and I'll tell you later what else we're going to be doing. So let's see the second one. The second example says, or the second exercise says, you are out of milk. You want your roommate to pick up some, sorry, to pick some up from the grocery store. You will be gone before your roommate comes home because you're going out to dinner with some friends. Then we have, you are out of cat food. You want your roommate to pick up some from the pet shop. You will be gone before your roommate comes home because you are going to a concert with your brother. And the last one says, you are out of bananas. You want your roommate to pick some up from the vegetable market. You will be gone before your roommate comes home because you are going jogging in the park. So we are going to be working on these four situations and I need you to write as many requests as you can, okay? Necesito que trabajemos en estos cuatro escenarios y me van a escribir los, las ¿qué? peticiones o solicitudes que a ustedes se les ocurran, ya sea usando el can o usando el could. Ya el compañero nos da un ejemplo. Could you buy some for me, please? Or could you bring some bread for me, please? So that's what we are going to be doing right now. Es lo que vamos a estar haciendo ahorita. No sé si le tomaron captura de pantalla a esta imagen. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes? Ya estamos todos entonces? Perfect. So let me stop sharing screen. Is it clear what we are going to do? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? No, no me quedó claro, teacher. Okay, so for the four scenarios that I presented, you are going to write as many requests as you can. 
Ok, van a escribir la... O sea, no les estoy dando un número, ¿verdad? Sino que necesito que escriban la... El, ¿Qué? Las solicitudes que a ustedes se les vengan a la mente. Por ejemplo, teníamos el primero que dice que ustedes ya no tienen pan y su compañero de cuarto o su vecino, ¿verdad? Va a ir. A la, ustedes necesitan que esta persona vaya a la, panadería, a la panadería. ¿Qué es lo que harían ustedes en esa situación? Ok. So we are practicing what we have studied. Vamos a practicar lo que hemos estado estudiando. But be careful. Tengan cuidado. I'm sharing screen right now. It says, you will be gone before your roommate comes home because you are going to the movies with some friends. Sé que ustedes ya se habrán ido cuando su compañero regrese porque van a ir al cine con otros amigos, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces, ¿cómo van a hacer ustedes ahí? If you remember, we talked about how to accept and how to refuse requests. Ok, nosotros hablamos de cómo podemos aceptar o cómo podemos negar este tipo de peticiones o solicitudes. So, in the case that I won't be able to do it, en el caso que yo no puedo, I'm sorry, I can't, or I'm sorry, but I'm going to the movies with my friends. Okay, or you can say, I'd be happy to, sure, just a moment, no problem, of course, all right. So I need you to use this vocabulary as well. Okay, necesito que también usemos este vocabulario. No solamente vamos a pensar en el tipo de petición o solicitud que le haríamos al compañero, ¿verdad? Sino que también vamos a ver o vamos a pensar cómo le vamos a aceptar o cómo le vamos a negar esa petición que nos está haciendo. ¿Es clear now? It's clear now, teacher. Thank yes. You. You're welcome. Reinaldo. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher, this is how many sentences, teacher? Uh, clear. Thank you, Reinaldo. I won't give you a number. No le voy a dar número, verdad? Because I need you to practice. Necesito que practique. Teacher. Tell me. How many sentences? Okay. ¿Cuántas oraciones? No les estoy dando un número específico, ¿verdad? Escriban las que ustedes puedan. Okay. Okay. So, do you want to continue working with the same people or do you want me to change you? ¿Seguimos con el mismo grupo o quieren cambiar? It's the same teacher. same people, teacher. The same people? Yes, please. Okay, so let's go. Sorry, Silvia, ¿en qué grupo estaba usted? Which one? Sorry, you're on mute. Okay. En el cuatro estaba. Four. Ok. Yes. Ok, there you go. Hi, Anna. Anna, can you hear me?
Juan. Hola. Hola, Ana. Hola. Hola, ¿pudo ingresar a la sesión de grupos reducidos? Ahorita, es que se me... Vaya, me avisa, por favor. ¿Cómo sería Can you go? Can you go? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo dije? Can For you the go? Breath. Fro, from. For the breath. For. Ah, for. For. Ah, for. 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 Como estoy del teléfono, me cuesta un montón. Sí, estoy sí, de la computadora. Se me cae a cada rato. Siempre estoy de la computadora y. Y la, re... y la respuesta. Sí. Podríamos poner: I'm sorry, I can't because I go to the dentist. Puede ser una respuesta. I'm sorry, I cannot, sería. I, I can. can't. Uh -huh. I can't. Oh, I cannot. I can. Because. I can. Uh -huh. I can. Uh -huh. Because I go I to the. Teacher, una consulta. Tell me. Este, por ejemplo, si quiero decirle, Milton, puedes traerme algo de pan, por favor. Está bien la oración formulada de la siguiente forma. Milton, could you bring me some of bread, please? Some bread. Some bread. Some bread. Se le, el off para nada. No. No lo lleva. Ok. Thanks. You're welcome. Could you? 
tujuh eh, don Dani la puede mover un poco hacia la derecha. Esta, así. La derecha. ¿Por acá? No, a la derecha. Muévala un poquito. Ah, ok. Gracias. Gracias. Bueno. Pero vamos a reducirlo por ahí. Está bien así. Sí, ahí se ve completo. Por... El primero es Could Daniel to for a lot of bread, please? Y la respuesta sería Of course, Suleima. Pero, me repite, yo, yo me quedé. ¿Cuál era la primera? Good Daniel, pues el ejemplo de Daniel. Going for a Lord of Breakfast, please. Y él me responde, of course, Suleima. Of course. Of course. No, no sé si así era como lo entendí. La otra es Can you going for bread and del ¿Cómo quise ponerme aquí? My living ¿Cómo puedes tú ir a la panadería? Ando, me dice que no puede. Can you not? Y la respuesta es que yo le digo, not problem, thank you. Y la otra es, you, no, can you going to um, back, please? Panadería, ¿cómo se? Ya la puse como vea. Bakery. Bakery, please. Y sure, use to going. Como seguro en este momento voy. Ok, entonces me confundí en la, en la segunda. Pues, eh, ¿Era que si puede ir a dónde? A la, es que era también como, como que puede ir a la, pasar por la panadería. Ajá. Y usted le dice no problem, thanks. Ajá, porque me dice que no, es que me, me dice que no puedo, pero la puse yo. I can count eh, from very. Y me responde él, no, que no puede, no. I, I not, I not can. No puedo. Y yo le digo no problem. Dice que Pet Shop Boy Cat Food. Ah, ajá. Can you buy Cat Food? Oh, from Run. the Pet Shop. Así. Can you please? Ah, Carlos. 
Sí. Uh, I can see that you are using there two verbs. Está usando dos verbos. Get y buy. Uh -huh. Ah. Okay. Can you get me cat food from the pet shop? Okay. Okay. Y siempre una respuesta. Sure. And it's a moment. Me encanta esa respuesta tan corta. <laughs> yes. Así. Ok. Perfecto. Te felicito. Vamos con la otra. <ríe> ok. Banana. Sí, pero bien desobligada esa persona. ¿Qué te parece okay. si ahí la hacemos con el coal? Ok. Uh -huh. Could you get get me bananas? Could you? Banana. Pero, pero escribámosle, eh, can you please get me? Get me bananas. From the vegetable market. Mm -hmm. Marte. Una respuesta corta. It's a pleasure. Con mucho gusto. Uh, es un placer. O con mucho gusto. Creo que significa las dos cosas. Of course. Ok. Mm. Así nada más, of course. Sí, por supuesto. Of course. Por supuesto. <ríe> ok, pero entonces hagamos otra. <ríe> bueno. Ah, no, pero... Can you go to the bakery? Can you go to the okay, you have there. Can you going? Why do you have going? Can you going? Why do uh, you have going? He yeah, ends up some. Yeah, remember that we are going to be using the verb in its base form. Can you go to the bakery? Can you go? Okay, to the bakery. Bakery for any bread. For any bread, okay. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. I study for exam. Mm -hmm. Además. I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. I study for exam, estudio para el exam, or I am studying for the exam. Okay. Oops. Okay, so if you are using the, uh, the present continuous, remember that the verb needs to be in its ING form. I am studying. 
for the exam. Carlos, eh, quitarle la Y al estar. No, así está bien. Ah. Sí, así está bien. Ok. Okay, then we have, could you buy two bottles of milk? Of milk. Um, of. Of. No, of. O-F. No, O. F. No, of. Of. Of, of, so. Okay, of milk in the grocery store. Okay. Did you finish? Hi, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So I think that it's enough. So let's go back to the main session. Okay, so let's check. Let's see what you have done. Um, give me just a few seconds. Okay, so let's see. We have the first situation or the first scenario. And let me see, group number four. We are going to begin right now with group number four. I have Ana, Daniel Enrique, and Silvia Suleima. Tell me, what are your answers or your questions that you have? Hi, teacher. Um, mm. Todavía no terminábamos de, de darnos toda la nuestra participación porque nos dividimos. Ajá. Solo ajá. tenemos algunas. Ok, so let's see what do you have. Ok. Um, Suleima, por ejemplo, hizo el del pan. Eh, decía, can you buy me bread at the bakery? Of course, no problem. Ok. Eh, la siguiente, could you please could you please go to the bakery for bread? Of course. Eh, Daniel decía, could you please buy me that food at the pet store? Y, yes, I buy. Okay, thank you, Silvia. Uh, las mías, 
Serían, can you buy me some milk? Sure, just a moment. Do you need some bread or only milk? Only milk. Okay. Yes. And could, could you please say it in the refrigerator? Of course. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Sylvia. So let's see now group number five. Me salté el cinco, mira. Okay, so five, I have Carlos and Zenaida. Uh, Chumara se desconectó también. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Um, first, uh, can you go to the bakery for any bread? I'm sorry, but I am very busy. I am studying for exam. Number two, call you buy two bottles of milk in the grocery store? Okay, no problem. And um, can you please get me cat food from the pet shop? Sure, just a moment. And uh, could you please get me bananas from the vegetable market? Of vegetable. course. Vegetable. 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 Okay. Market, of course. Okay, good. Thank you, Carlos. So let me see group number three. I have Daniel, Luna, Linda, Yvette, and Miguel. Okay, uh, can you buy food for my cat? The brand is cat show with flavor to me. Yes, I I can, no problem. And Miguel, say another. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you add out of cat food? I don't have cats. Can you while be gone before? Yes, probably. Can you add out of milk? Yes, every day. Can you add out of bananas? Yes, at Sunday. I'm Linda. sorry, I'm sorry, Miguel, but what are you trying to say? Can you? Can you are out of bananas? Um, what yes, do you want to say? ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir? Eh, que si en algún momento te quedas sin banana. Yeah, mm. but you are using can. Me está usando el can. Es como que le dijera, puedes quedarte sin, sin comida para gatos o sin pan. Por eso le dije, eh, can you are of, of cat food? I don't have cats. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And you said that Linda was with you too, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, um... Could you buy me some milk because I will be busy? No problem, I will. Uh, can you can you pick pick up the cat food from pet shop for me, please? Uh, of course. And um, only that, teacher. Okay, thank you. Then we have group number two, Claudia, Juan, and Reinaldo. Okay, teacher. Uh, can you bring me my, my bread, uh, bread? No problem. I bring in the wind leaving the movies. Uh, can you buy me food for my cat? I am sorry. I I can't. I can't. Can you buy milk for breakfast? All right. Can you buy some bananas of the market? Sure, 
Just mommy, go to the market. Okay, thank you, Claudia. You're welcome. Okay, anyone else from that group? No? Okay, so we're going to have the last group that is, let me see, Giovanni, Juan Carlos, and Norma. Okay. Uh, uh, can you go can you go for the bread? I'm sorry, I can't. Uh, could you please buy a bar of milk? Uh, sure. You, a moment. Can you bring me cut food from the pet shop? I'm sorry, I can't. Could you please go to the, go the supermarket to buy banana? before come at home, no problem. Okay, thank you. Good, um, just give me a few minutes. I'm just looking for another exercise that I have for you. But before moving that, or moving forward, is there any question that you may have? Do you have questions? No, is everything okay? So, no questions about this topic. Oh, no. teacher. Okay, excellent. So let's see. Give me just a few minutes. I that I had a different exercise for you to work today. But let me check. Yeah, so probably because of the time, uh, we won't do it. Just remember that we are going to finish classes on... Monday, ok, lunes estamos terminando clases y lo otro verdad que se les había mencionado en la clase del día miércoles es que ya se les está haciendo llegar la encuesta de satisfacción recuerden que la encuesta de satisfacción es algo que vamos a hacer acá todos juntos durante la clase verdad por si se me adelantaron algunos pues aquí van a estar presentes verdad pero sí, es algo que vamos a hacer todos Ok, uh, lo otro, recuerden que antes de la clase tiene que estar ya esa plataforma al 100%, tiene que estar ya completo, ¿verdad? Lo que son los ejercicios y de igual manera el examen final. No sé si alguno de ustedes ha tenido algún problema con los ejercicios o si todo está claro, está en orden. Con mí no hay problema, estoy bien. En, en order. Okay. Good. And how about the others? ¿Y con los demás? No. No. no I don't have any problem. Okay, perfect. So let me check. Va, ahorita que los tengo voy a revisar. Vamos a ver cómo estamos entonces. Let me see. Okay, vamos bien. Ana, perfecto, puedo ver que ya terminó. Um, ok, let me see another person. Um, ok, perfecto, Claudia, tengo que ya terminó también. Let me see. Hold on. Daniel, excelente. Daniel Enrique, vamos bien, ya terminamos todos. De igual manera, Giovanni, Juan Osmel. Juan Peña, Linda. Ok, perfect. O sea, tengo que ya la mayoría me, me terminó hasta el examen final, ¿verdad? 
Los demás veo que todavía estamos trabajando en lo que es la unidad 4. A algunos les hace falta poco, pero sí, veo que ya la mayoría ya, ya terminó. Xiomara, excellent, you already finished. Suleyma as well. Zenaida también. Sí, ya la mayoría me terminó perfecto. Eso sí me, me parece, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces puedo ver que con la plataforma estamos bien. Quizás es un 20% el que hace falta, ¿verdad? Que termine lo que es la unidad o la sección 4. Y de igual manera lo que es el Teacher. examen final. Ajá. El examen final eh, tiene que finalizarse este día o este lunes. No, sería este lunes. Recuerden que es hasta que se finalice, ¿verdad? Ajá, yo... Yo por eso no lo había hecho, porque hay que esperar la clase de lunes, ¿verdad? Sí, Ajá. sí pero, pero okay. re recuerde que de preferencia nosotros le podemos a pedir que antes de esa clase ya esté todo desarrollado, ¿verdad? Ok, ok. Ajá, Thank pero you. sí, tienen prácticamente hasta el día lunes antes de la clase para completar absolutamente todos los ejercicios y el examen final. Ok, este fin de semana trabajaremos. Ok, excelente. Vaya, ¿Alguna duda o pregunta? Eh, no es sobre tanto inglés, sino que es sobre el, el progreso. Ajá. Aquí en el total, total, en el total, ¿por qué jamás llega a 100? <risa> ¿Por qué no le llega a 100? No, no llega a 100. Bueno, en el total, después del final, sale un total. Correcto. Está como al 60, 65% quizás. Va, permítanme. Ya les voy a mostrar mi progreso. Sí, tendrías que revisar, Daniel. Eh, sí. Si has terminado 100% todo. A bueno, mejor... No, no, solo el total. Yo digo en, en el JW1, 2, 3, 4, está total, 100%. Digo en el total, total. Vaya. Esa, ah, es, Vaya, le voy a enseñar último. yo por qué. Si usted se fija... Tengo tarea 1, tarea 2, tarea 3, todo lo llevo aquí, se supone que al 100%. La tarea 4, aquí este estudiante que se llama Araceli Rosales no ha hecho absolutamente nada, ¿verdad? Y tengo acá lo que es el promedio de las tareas, que llevo un 75%. ¿Ok? En el midterm, la evaluación intermedia, tengo que está un 100%. El examen final, ella todavía no lo ha hecho. Está esperando igual... Este, que sean las 11 de la noche para hacerlo. Y acá tengo lo que es el total. Si usted se fija, está un 53%. ¿Por qué? Porque le falta lo que es la tarea 4. Le falta el examen final. Uy, lo siento. Para completar lo que es absolutamente todo. Permítanme. Sorry. Pero sí, le tiene que salir al 100%. Si han dado caso, no le sale al 100%, como lo decía ahí el compañero. Es porque probablemente hay un ejercicio en el que no sacó 100%. Es decir, quizás acá en las tareas ah, bueno. tiene, no tiene un 100%, sino que debe tener un, digamos, un 80% o un 95%, un 92%. Por eso es que no le da lo que es el 100%. Pero sí, al finalizar, si usted tiene absolutamente todo bien, le tiene que dar ese 100%. ¿Te parece un color gris, Tichera? ¿Eso qué significa? Permítame, quiero ver. Un color gris. ¿Dónde les Ajá, aparece ese final. color gris? Ah, porque es el examen final. O sea, cada barra tiene su color. Si ustedes pueden ver, les vuelvo a compartir pantalla. Pero no significa que falta, teacher. O, o, no, no, no. Mire, si faltara, estuviera así como en el mío. Si usted se fija, yo ahorita ah, no he hecho lo que es el examen final. Es en blanco, ¿ok? El examen o la evaluación intermedia, si usted se fija, es de color ocre. Es un poco más okay. oscuro. En cambio, este sí es como un poco más claro. Y acá tengo el total de las tareas del examen o de la evaluación intermedia y les tiene que salir también en gris lo que es ya la evaluación final. Y Ajá, sale la mitad rojo. Ok. Perdón, mitad rojo y mitad gris, así sale. Está sí, bien entonces. Así es. Correcto. Teacher, y el mío está al 100. Tengo, sí, todo, 
está al 100% con usted. Gracias. Usted, sí, sí, yo desde la segunda semana vi que ya me había hecho todas las tareas, hasta el intermedio. Ella, y ella, el ella, ella, ella viajó al futuro rápido, terminó. Sí. <risa> ella y creo que Norma también ya habían terminado. No recuerdo que sí, con Norma creo yo que eran las que ya habían terminado. Y yo, wow. Ok. Súbanos, cinco puntos, Tichi. Ay, I wish. <risa> me encantaría. Vaya, este, no sé si hay alguna pregunta o duda. No. No. Vaya. El lunes entonces Peter. llenamos la encuesta, ¿verdad? Correcto. Hasta el día lunes vamos a llenar la encuesta. Ok, acá todos juntos. ¿Por qué? Porque como lo decían en el grupo de WhatsApp, es un requisito que tenemos de Insafor que debe quedar eso grabado, que la encuesta se realizó con ustedes durante la clase. Y lo otro que yo les mencionaba, eso es algo que se va a estar haciendo todos los niveles. En todos los módulos ustedes van a llenar esa encuesta de satisfacción. ¿Ok? Y sí, es cierto, ya le dan todo solo para copiar y pegar, copiar y pegar. Pero de preferencia, la vamos a hacer acá el día lunes. ¿Ok? De acuerdo, teacher. Ok. Bueno, entonces si no hay... Bueno, si no hay más preguntas, nos quedaríamos hasta acá. Y ahora le corresponde la asesoría a Silvia Zuleima. Ya pasa suspenso. I'll do it right now, ahorita. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is the last time that we're checking attendance. Alba Nelly Reyes. Ana Delmi Herrera. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Consuelo del Carmen Rivera. Daniel Antonio Luna. Daniel Enrique Orellana. Giovanni Alexander Pineda. Isabel Beatriz Joya. Juan Carlos Peña. Present. Juan Osmel Vizcarra. Present. Linda Ivette Márquez. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Presente, presente, teacher. Ok. Norma Carolina Villeda. Present, teacher. Renata Romero. Reinaldo Castro. Present, teacher. Zenaida América. Present, teacher. Silvia Zuleima. Present, teacher. Zuleima Verónica. Present teacher. Xiomara del Carmen. Daniel Alexandra. And Jenny Carolina. Okay. So we are going to stop here for now. So don't forget to finish working on the exercises if you haven't done it yet. And that's going to be all. So thank you so much for coming and see you on Monday. Okay, see you Monday. Bye. 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 Happy weekend, teacher. Happy weekend. Thank you, likewise. Thank you, Anna. Okay, hi Silvia. Hi teacher. How are you? Um, I am so tired. <laughs> I see, I understand. Tell me, do you have questions about the topics that we have studied or any doubts? Um, question, question, no, but I need... Uh, Repasar el ING un poco. Ok. Como vi que hay varias reglas con relación al ING, me gustaría tal vez si me ayuda a repasarlas. Ahorita, permítame, estoy cargando la presentación. Ah. 
Igual comentarle que no he hecho las últimas evaluaciones porque, bueno, a mí en lo personal me gusta hacerlas después de haber recibido la clase. Ah, ok. Vaya, no, no se preocupe. A mí porque igual me gusta verificar cuánto es lo que han trabajado y por qué cabal antes de la clase o terminando la clase yo paso notas y ya quedo libre. That's why I always okay. check. Sí, por eso es que siempre reviso, ¿verdad? Y sí, he visto que la mayoría de ustedes ha trabajado. Si, imagínense qué día es si ya tengo que más del 50% completó todo. Dice sí. mucho. Aquí. Mm, pero también no es de confiar, teacher, porque realmente la plataforma misma le da las respuestas. Entonces, para alguien que solo quiere pasar las notas a lo rápido, creo que no es conveniente. Es mejor esperar recibir la clase y aprender y luego hacer el examen, en mi opinión, ¿verdad? Sí, eso sí. Porque como usted dice, ¿verdad? Ya si, si se equivocó la primera vez, ya de ahí solo se va, se mete a la plataforma y ya ve las respuestas y pues... Ahí es correcto, todo. no es como mantener una estadística real, sino que simplemente uno lo practica y, y lo hace hasta que tenga el 100% correcto. Ok, yes. Vaya, permítanme que si no me quiere cargar la, la presentación. Déjenme okay. buscar en otro. Lo voy a compartir entonces otro documento que tengo, que de igual manera están las, las reglas. Perfecto. Ok. Dame. Sí, no sé por qué no quiere cargar ahora. Ya quiere que usted se vaya a descansar, Ticha. Ay, no, ya quisiera yo, si todavía me falta. ¿Tiene otro grupo más o oh, no? No, 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 solo ustedes, pero... Ah. O sea, sí tengo otro grupo de sábados en la mañana, pero... Vaya, ahorita le comparto la pantalla. Ok. Ok. okay. Vaya, acá tenemos lo que es lo del ING. So you can see we have the spelling rules. And as it says here... Uh, this is a guide to the correct spelling of ING forms of verbs in German. So the first rule that we have or that we explained is that what we are going to do that to most verbs, we add ING, okay? La primera regla dice que para la mayoría de verbos lo que nosotros realizamos es agregarle ING al final de cada verbo. So you can see we have here the infinitive form and then we have the ing form so we have to feel to go to work to sleep and it's ing form feeling going working sleeping lo único que estamos haciendo acá es agregar ing however as it says there there are some exceptions tenemos las excepciones so we have the following exception exists when spelling words ending in ing. Number one, if the verb ends in e, we remove the e and add ing. Just remember that this is consonant plus e. Si el verbo termina en una consonante más e. So you can see we have leave, have, make, and take. We have consonant e, consonant e, consonant e, consonant E. So what we do is to delete the E. En este caso eliminamos la E y agregamos ING. So leave becomes leaving. Have, having. Make, making. Take, take. Ok? Ok. La siguiente regla que tenemos dice si el verbo termina en una consonante. Oops, sorry. En una consonante más vocal, más consonante, duplicamos la última consonante y agregamos ING. Cabe aclarar que esto aplica con verbos de una sílaba. Stop, sit, plan, get, swing. Todos esos verbos tienen una sílaba. Stop, sit, plan, get, swing. Y si se da cuenta, acá tengo una consonante, una vocal, una consonante. Consonante, vocal, consonante. Consonante, vocal, consonante. 
consonante, vocal, consonante y consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces, según esta regla, yo voy a duplicar la última consonante y voy a agregar ing. So stop becomes stopping, sit, sitting, plan, planning, get, getting, swim, swimming. ¿Ok? Ok. Ahora la tercera. It says that if a two-syllable verb ends in a consonant plus vowel plus consonant, we do not double the final consonant when the stress is on the first syllable. Si tengo un verbo de dos sílabas que termina mm. en una vocal, perdón, una consonante más vocal más consonante, no voy a duplicar la última consonante si la mayor fuerza de voz está en la primera sílaba. Usted puede ver ahí que esos verbos están subrayados. Happen, o la sílaba está subrayada, sorry. Happen, enter, offer, suffer. La mayor fuerza de voz está en la primera sílaba. Por lo cual, yo no duplico, solamente agrego ING. ¿Ok? Pero, okay. como dice la número cuatro, we do not double the final consonant when the verb ends in W. X o Y. Si el verbo termina en W, X o Y, lo único que vamos a hacer es agregarle ING. So you can see we have fix, enjoy, snow. Solamente le agrego el ING. Fixing, enjoying, and snowing. Bueno, en este caso, aunque, pero me quiero ver. Acá el, el eh, ¿cómo se dice? El final. ¿El acento sería en el, la última sílaba? No, aquí no, no se le agrega. No, aquí no, no se le da. Vale, dice cuando la última sílaba no es, no, no está enfatizada, no lleva la mayor fuerza de voz. Vale, pero acá como tengo que son excepciones, no importa si son dos sílabas que tenga el verbo, o sea de una, pero como termina en W, X o Y, Solamente agrego ING. En el caso que he estado viendo que la mayoría piensa que en study, study, uh -huh. le quitan la Y y agregan ING, pero no. Uh -huh. Como que acá en el caso de enjoy, enjoy, viniera yo, le quitara la, la, la Y y agregara ING, no, no se puede. O sea, sin excepciones. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Y tengo la siguiente que dice, if the verb ends in IE, si el verbo termina en IE, lo cambio, yo sustituyo lo que son esas dos vocales por YING. So I have lie, die, and tie. ¿Ok? Lie, die, and tie. Todos esos verbos tienen IE, IE, IE. Entonces los elimino y agrego Y, ING. Lie, lie. Die, die, and die, die. Acá hay otras okay. excepciones, ¿verdad? Estas sí no se las mencioné en clase. Que dice que si el verbo termina en una consonante vocal más L, dice que generalmente duplicamos la L y agregamos ING. Sin embargo, eh, aquí viene a, a hablar de una diferencia de lo que es el inglés británico y el inglés americano. Porque si usted logra ver travel o marble en el inglés británico, sí se le duplica. En cambio, uh -huh. en el inglés americano, no. Y de ambas maneras es correcto. Ah, ok. Ok. Sí, es totalmente nuevo. <risas> sí, por eso no se los mencioné, pero sí se puede, ¿verdad? Pero ahí hay okay. ahí la diferencia. Igual sucede, ¿verdad? Con, lo, con la R. If the verb ends in a stressed vowel plus R, we double the final R and add ING. Aquí aplica si el verbo termina en R, vocal R, y la, última, y la mayor fuerza de voz está en la última sílaba. So I have refer, defer, la mayor fuerza está en la última okay. sílaba. Como hay una vocal más R, ahí se duplico. Ok, pero si no, si la mayor fuerza de voz está en la primera, entonces no, solo agrego ING. Pero esta de la R sí es este, reconocida en el sí. inglés de Estados Unidos. Sí, ese sí. Ah, ok. Ok. 
Ok. No sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta o duda. No, teacher, solamente eso me interesaba repasar. Ok. Ok, so if there are no more questions, we will stop here. Si no hay más preguntas, nos quedaríamos hasta aquí entonces. Ok, feliz noche. Thank you, Silvia. Bye. 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 Bye.